Installing the IKEA Bastic cabinets on the drywall is not as easy as you think. But before we go into details, let's check out my other video on how to paint the accent wall with professional results. I will post the link in the description. I hope it can help you all DIY people to make your room look fantastic. As you know, the stud behind the drywall is usually 16 inches apart. It is a problem in many cases. And I am going to show you how to solve this problem. I made this in my basement to show you what happened behind the scene. To install the IKEA Baster, you need the metal rail. If you have multiple cabinets to install, you simply put this piece at the end and connect to another one. For this demonstration purpose, I am going to stick with one only. With the 16 inches studs behind the drywall, there is no easy way you can align them with the studs. The instruction just tells you to use screws. Great! Before we get to the solution, I marked the cabinets where I want to install using the masking tape. The laser leveling tool is very handy. You want everything to be perfectly leveled, that's the goal. I used it on my backyard project too, check it out if you haven't seen that. Because the metal rail is about 20 and a half inches, you must be able to secure it to at least one stud per rail. The next question is, what type of screws should I use? Many people would just use the regular 3 inches construction screws. But for me, I recommend GRK RSS because the shear strength is amazingly strong. How strong is it? I used it on the ledger board when I built my deck. Now, for the other end of the rail. The solution is to use drywall anchors. This is the first type. It holds 52 pounds. This type is the worst. It only holds 10 pounds. Don't use that. Moving on to the metal anchor. Depends on the thickness of the drywall. It holds up to 75 pounds. The toggle type of anchors is the best. It holds up to 280 pounds. Pretty impressive. The instructions tell you to drill a half an inch hole. If you drill it with a half an inch drill bit at this point, you will be very screwed. A DIY tip, you need to drill a pilot hole using a very small bit. Then switch it to the half an inch bit and you will be good. It's time to insert the taco anchor into the hole and then pull it back. The metal at the back opens up and the anchor is in place. Next, you push this part towards the end until it is flush with the drywall. It's very similar to using the cable tie. Then break the end by snapping it. White color plastic sits on the rail is going to be attached to the back of the cabinet. I just want to show you the behind the scene. And of course, this is what it looks like behind the drywall. Alright, let's do this on the real one. I got a different brand of toggle anchor. This one holds up to 238 pounds on a half an inch thickness drywall. A little bit less than the one I showed you earlier, but it's totally fine. Because there is vapor barrier and insulation behind this wall, I got some resistance when pushing this in. You will hear the clicking sound. That means the metal at the back opens up. There you go. Push this in until it is flush with the drywall. 
break the plastic by snapping it. Because of the position of the cabinet, it happens the stud is in the middle. That's the reason I used two drywall anchors on each side. said earlier, you want to use at least one screw per rail. Secure it to the stud. You may want to ask, can I use drywall anchors and not using any screw to the stud? For me, I would not do that for safety reasons. Finding the stud isn't too difficult at all. For those who have not read the IKEA menu, you may be wondering why there are gaps between the masking tapes and the rail. It's because IKEA tells you to do so. They are very smart when it comes to product design. They tell you to flip the rail upside down to mark the holes, then turn it 180 degrees and you will have the right position. This leaves the gap on the top and on the side. Putting the cabinets on the wall is very easy. You can do it by yourself. You don't need to ask for help. Next, I need to install the rail for the cabinets horizontally. I thought it would be easy, but there was a new problem. On the left, I was able to find the stud right on the edge. It was good. On the right, I needed to add several quarter inch washers. Why did I need to do that? It's because the wall was not flat. I ran a leveler on the wall and you can see there is a huge gap. It may or may not happen to you. I saw it on the internet for people are having the same issues. They have creative ways to solve the problem. Let's move on and finish up the installation. I hope my experience can help you to install your IKEA Bester. The end result is spectacular. Look at this, my god. Give it a thumbs up if you find this helpful. If you love DIY, you may want to check out other videos on my channel. My goal is to inspire more people into DIY. Don't underestimate yourself. If I can do it, so can you. Remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.